So first let's download the necessary things from my Discord. Everything we need is in the resources channel. Here all we have to do is download the R6 base and these two arts. So like I said, you can download all these things in my Discord. Now let's get to the tutorial. So first, let's go over the movement. Hold middle mouse to move the camera. Hold shift plus middle mouse to move the position of the camera. Also on the top right, you can change the axis by clicking on them. Press G to grab the object. Press G with one of your axes to grab the object on the axis. Press S to scale the object. Press S and one of the axes to scale it on the axis. Press X to delete the object. Press R to rotate the object. Press R and left mouse button to precise rotate. Now let's focus on the upper right part. Because we have some important stuff here. One of them is face orientation. It shows the direction your face geometry is facing. Next we have statistics. It lets you see the trees count of your model. We also got these four balls. They switch between four modes. Material Preview Render Mode Wireframe and Solid You can also use Z to switch between them. We are going to use the Solid view because it allows us to use Matcap which puts a cosmetic overlay on our model. So now I'm gonna show you how to import the reference art you downloaded before. Press Add, Image and then Reference. Select your image and just move it behind your model. Now the thing we want to do is enter the edit mode on the top left. In here we can use Ctrl plus R to loop cut And now we can use the same controls which we learned about before. We can also make multiple loop cuts by scrolling upwards. Another thing we can do here is using these three select types. First one is used to select the dots. The second one is the edge select. And the third one is the face select. So now let's move to the important part. Topology refers to the faces, verts and edges that make up your model. So basically we have quads that are the squares and faces, trees that are the triangles, and n-gons that are made up of more than four dots. Basically we don't want n-gons in our model, because they can ruin the optimization of our models. Now let's move to the knife tool. Press key to use the knife tool and enter to finalize the cut. It's another tool to make topology. It's also good to mention that if we are not careful we can easily create endgons, which we don't want. The last and the most important thing, the extrusion. We'll use face select to select and extrude our model. Press E to extrude the face. And now we can use the other things we learned such as moving, sizing to create our own shapes. Now to mark sharp your model, which changes the way it shades, you want to select the edges you want to sharp. After selecting it, you right click and mark sharp. You also do the same thing to mark a seam, although for seams. You'd mark the seams in another area since they aren't exactly the same as mark sharp. Just apply it the same way. 